It's time to check in with Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Bob. Top of the morning. Top of the morning. <laughs> yes. Well, oh, tomorrow, really. Oh, but. Well, yeah, but close enough. <laughs> and close a foggy enough. morning this morning. Are you going skating this morning? Very. I am going skating with two uh, Olympic gold medal winning hockey players, Emma Malte and Renata Fast, who are uh, both Burlington residents. So there's yeah. a public skate this morning at 1045. And a chance to uh, meet and greet. Absolutely, yes. We will have uh, an honorary presentation. I got a little something up my sleeve for them that they don't know about yet. Oh. And uh, so ask me about that next week. And uh, yeah, there'll be a chance actually to get autographs. Uh, they'll be signing autographs, talk to them, meet with them, probably get some photos. And then there's a public skate after. You do have to register for that. So okay. uh, yeah. Okay, but uh, great that you're doing that and uh, they can be uh, acknowledged and uh, cheered as we cheered them in Beijing. So the mask mandates being lifted on Monday. What are the rules uh, with uh, Halton and Burlington specifically? Well, Halton and Burlington, as well as most Halton municipalities, have had our own mask bylaw. We brought ours in actually before the province did. So ours is still active. We will be discussing it at our regularly scheduled council meeting on Tuesday, the 22nd. And I know folks have asked, well, why didn't you call a special council meeting and lift it earlier? Uh, you know, we really wanted to take that extra week and a half or so from when the province announced that the 21st would be when they lifted theirs and, uh, and the 22nd so that we could see where the health indicators are going. I am hearing really equal parts from Residents saying they don't want it lifted. It's too soon. We should wait till a couple of weeks after March break and folks who want it lifted uh, a long time ago. So we right. will discuss that as a council on Tuesday. Halton Region's mask bylaw is also in effect. So uh, that one will be discussed at the regional council meeting on the 23rd. Okay. Now, Halton um, lifted the state of emergency and uh, Oakville and uh, Milton made their own announcements following that. What's the situation with the state of emergency with Burlington? That we will also be discussing on the 22nd. And, you know, I, I could lift it, uh, but, uh, you know, council has been working so hard together as a team with our staff. I thought it would be really great if we could collectively lift this state of emergency. So that will be something we discussed at our committee meeting or sorry, our council meeting on the 22nd. OK, so there'll be lots to talk about uh, next week. Uh, there's been some complaints about short rental homes in the area and calls for regulating mm -hmm. short term rentals. So we're looking into a bylaw, but in the meantime, we do have some other tools that we can use and have successfully shut down some of the most egregious Airbnbs, uh, short-term rentals. Uh, we have zoning rules. You can't have an event facility in the middle of a neighborhood, uh, parking, noise bylaw. So we've used some of those tools already. And we also really encourage people to contact whoever is the listing uh, app for the uh, for the short term rental in question, because they will delist people that are known to be violators of city bylaws or, uh, you know, where there's big parties or what have you. So uh, both of those things happened in this in the case of this one Airbnb that we shut down uh, some years ago. So I do encourage people to also funnel their complaints through to whether it's Airbnb or, or whatever the short term rental app for that particular house is. Right, okay. Well, uh, Brian's standing by with an amazing uh, forecast for St. Patrick's Day. The temperatures are great. Let's talk about patios. So applications for uh, temporary patios in the city has opened up? It is open, and I know they're coming in. People love our patios, and that's one of the great things to come out of the pandemic is that we will have a more streamlined and robust patio program, I think, permanently. So we'll be discussing that this year is what that looks like going forward but uh, I'm excited as we all are and maybe you can have a you know a green beer on St. Patty's Day on one of our amazing patios on <laughs> you Thursday. Betcha. <laughs> well have an amazing time in the meantime with our Olympic champions this morning at the Appleby Ice Center. Great chatting with you. We'll see you next week. Thanks a lot Bob.